Hey guys, it's been a while. Um, forgive the lighting and forgive my lack of foundation. Cause, I mean, you know, you, you guys know me. I don't wear makeup in my videos. Anyway, so there's no reason I should be apologizing for not wearing foundation. I am wearing highlighter though. I can cut a bitch. Anyway, I wanted to check in for a moment because um, I did experience last night's earthquake. I'm pretty sure you guys have already heard about it because it's been all over the news because it's so close to Yellowstone and that freaks people out, which, and to be honest with you, it doesn't freak me out. And the reason for that is because earthquakes in Yellowstone are very, very common. There are so many, and uh, especially around this time of year. But also, if Yellowstone were to blow, there would be nothing to worry about because we'd all be dead. That's not the point. I'm kind of excited because this is the first time I've ever actually felt an earthquake. Last night, or more specifically early this morning, I decided to go to Albertsons nearby to get ice cream because I was feeling like I wanted to eat a tub of ice cream. Like, once in a while I do that, and I'm trying to do it a little less now because I stress ate so much ice cream during the semester I gained like 16 pounds. Not kidding. So I went over there to get ice cream because I wanted to watch a movie. But while I, it wasn't even that long after I walked in. I walked in, I looked at some cherries, I tasted one because I wanted to see if they were like, you know, good. Didn't end up getting any cherries. And then I walked over to the part of Albertsons that has the juice and then right next to it are mushrooms and stuff. And I heard this really weird sound from the ceiling. And I was thinking, it sounded like, I don't know, it was a weird sound. It was a structural sound, and it sounded like something was shaking. But I looked up to see what had happened, and the sound stopped. And then, as I was looking around, the shaking started again, but this time a little more violent. And it was like, and everything, you could see it swinging in the store. And right next to me, some mushrooms fell off the shelf. It was pretty exciting. I was not excited at the time, I was just surprised. And I wasn't freaked out either. I just remember standing there and looking up like... The mushrooms hit my shoulder. <laughs> so I got on Facebook and I m wrote, like, did anybody else feel that earthquake? And uh, so far, yeah, everyone's fucking felt that earthquake. I should have tweeted it, but oh well. And then I just went about my business. I went and got ice cream, Oreos, macaroni salad, and something else. I don't even remember. And then as I was walking home, I passed a guy and he was- he- he asked me if I felt the earthquake, and he told me it was in Lincoln, and I said, yeah, and my friend, because I was looking at Facebook on the way home, and uh, my friend in Bozeman felt it. And there apparently were some aftershocks following that for the l next half hour, but it takes me like 20 minutes to walk home, so they were probably happening while I was walking, and therefore I wouldn't have felt them. Last time I recall experiencing an earthquake, I was maybe six or seven, and I was sitting in a rocking chair, and I didn't feel anything, because I was already rocking in the chair. It didn't make a difference. <laughs> Everybody's okay. So far, there are no reported injuries, and I'm not concerned about Yellowstone. Weird little bit of information, though. As I was walking to Albertsons, I sniffed the air, like I do, because I'm a weirdo, and I thought, it smells like lightning. And then I got into Albertsons and the earthquake happened and when I came out it smelled even more like lightning. I don't know if that's connected, but there was no lightning and there were barely any clouds. Take with that what you will. But yeah, there was an earthquake and it was cool and I experienced it. I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> um, I'll see you guys later. I'll release the videos as soon as I can. It's really fucking hot in here and it just makes me lethargic and want to sit down. So, see you later. Jane.